100 moms later, what I love about For My Baby and Me is being able to see the women grow in their recovery. It's something you have to work with every day. You never get a day off from it. Um, these women are growing in their roles as mothers, growing in their roles as independent women, and learning, um, you know, from all of the resources we provide to them, how to become more successful and seek, you know, broader opportunities, things that they often didn't realize were available to them when they came into the program. For My Baby and Me was uh, an idea that, that, that came to us when there was funding available and solved an incredibly needed problem uh, in our community. We had pregnant women and new moms who were impacted by opioid use disorder that had nowhere to go for treatment. And uh, I was able to reach out to our community partners and together we put together a virtual program where one call would initiate a cascade of, of services for women who were impacted by opioid use disorder. The women and their families were able to get a place to live. They were able to get engaged into treatment for their opioid use disorder and get into prenatal care, as well as a supportive environment to help them be successful in their, their fight against drugs and uh, really getting their life back. And now I'm proud to say that we've had a uh, hundred women through the program. Not only a hundred women, but a hundred families. What lightens my heart is when you see the women holding their babies, seeing their families around them, how they have uh, a new opportunity with a, a drug-free life. Um, and uh, you know the services that we're able to provide made a big difference in that. To see these women who struggle with addiction, battle demons in their life from their childhood up until adulthood, to teach them coping skills, life skills, to help them grow and provide them the support and the skills that they need to mother and baby their, their children and just to watch them grow as individuals is just amazing. It, I truly feel blessed that I'm able to be a part of that that journey with them. I started using drugs at a very young age. I was 17 the first time I smoked crack, and I struggled for years with that. Through those years, I had three beautiful children. Due to my addiction, I lost custody of my younger two. I was a fleeting parent in and out, um, which really took a toll on them. and. You know, I just didn't know how. I wanted to stop, you know, I really did. And I struggled with it every day. My drug addiction led me to abusive relationships. I lost my kids, I became homeless, and I had no money, I had nothing. I lost my family, my parents won't, wouldn't talk to me, still won't talk to me. Um, sorry. I was exposed to addiction at a very early age. My grandma and grandpa came to my mom's house one day and took me and my brother and said that my mom had to go away for a little while. She, she was sick and she had to go away. And then I didn't see my mom again until she was well. And she was like a totally different person. My father, he also was an addict. And um, unfortunately, he passed away when I was 13 still struggling with that same addiction. When we got older, you know, me and my mom just had like a little distance between us. I was just always so angry and I just always lashed out at her and blamed her. And I just was like, if it wasn't for your addiction, like things wouldn't have happened to me, it wouldn't have never happened to me. I was molested at nine. It was by my, it was by my mom's husband. I just didn't want to break up her family. So that was something that I kept buried within me for a very long time. When I was like 13 years old, my stepfather had a breakdown and um, he had told what happened and it, it just made it a reality. So at the age of 19, I left and I went to the streets. I found comfort in the streets. When I was younger, I wanted to be a prosecutor. 
Um, eventually I changed um, and I wanted to become a nurse. I dealt with many years of abuse um, from my brother. Also, when I was 18, um, I was raped. Ended up pregnant, had a daughter as a product of the rape. Shortly after I had my daughter, I was diagnosed with cervical cancer. I was told I had six months to a year to live. So I just wanted to die. I started smoking crack cocaine. Initially, when I came to Catholic Charities, it was when my spouse um, passed away suddenly. She just fell to her knees and stopped breathing. But I felt as though it was a relief because I knew that I was going to stop using. I was numb to everything. I didn't have to deal with nothing. And I didn't realize the damage that it was doing to my kids to see me under the influence. It took a toll on my mom, it took a toll on my family, my kids, my sister. And I just, I kept drowning myself in drugs, and drugs more and more, because I didn't want to deal with the emotional pain that it was of me battling myself. I kept running from myself and my reality. When I found out I was halfway to my second trimester that I was pregnant, I tried to stop myself, but I was too far gone. I was too far gone into the drug, and it had took over me. It submerged me. It controlled my life, my thoughts, everything. I don't know if you want to call it a spiritual awakening or what, but I got on my knees and I just prayed to God, like, please give me the strength, guide me, you know? and. I enjoy Catholic charities. Like, you guys saved my life, and my daughter saved my life, and I know I can stay clean on my own now. My auntie, her name is Shelly, she called around. They sent me to a, a Mommy and Me program, which was with Catholic charities, and it saved my life. I can definitely tell you that. Before I entered into them doors, I didn't know what to do. All I seen at the end of the road was death. I didn't see any other option. When I came through them doors and they asked me what was the most important thing to me, for the first time in a long time, I thought about my kids. I came to Catholic Charities because they have an ambulatory detox program and I asked them if they could detox me. Though I was still using, it's a lot of things that they said that stuck with me and in the back of my mind that I took it with me even when I left because I was still using. About eight months later, I lost my mother. Though I wasn't using when I lost my mother, it's some things that I went through like family issues and my daughter being removed from my care, eventually it came to me like, I'm not going to get anywhere like this. Um, the more I do this, the more they're going to keep my daughter from me. I came back to Catholic Charities to try to strengthen my coping skills and just succeed. It's better to be afraid and actually try to move forward than to be afraid and remain stagnant. I can say today that I'm clean, which I never thought I would be able to say. And I had my daughter on the 23rd of August. Her name is Imogen Grace, and God definitely graced me with her because I feel different today. You know, I know I can do this. I'm gonna be the best mom I can be because of this program. I'm so grateful to be in this position. I, I'm so thankful. I really am. Um, that's why I fought for these are because I know how it is to be out there alone. It is horrible and it's cold. 
And all you want is death. You don't want to live no more. It's not just me. You feel you have no future. I just thank God that they gave me a second chance to actually see the beautiful life that I do have ahead of me. I thank the program for allowing me to see it. I have a future and I'm, I'm excited to live and work towards it. I finally made it to the point where I want it to be. And I feel like I can conquer anything now. So thank you. It's been really joyful to see all of the progress that we've had with the program. And I certainly look forward to being able to serve another 100 women and improve health outcomes in this community. Mm -hmm.